I want to do a follow-up video on the raised beds because that video seemed to get some good interest and um, it's definitely the the area that I'm I'm pretty excited about too so what I want to show here are these three raised beds I want to talk briefly about uh, what they are what went into them and also uh, just talk about them as, a, as an experiment, which is what they were. So um, let's start, so from right to left, uh, the, the first bed that we're looking at, this was the first one that went down. This bed is about six weeks old. Uh, so I just took rocks, uh, made a border, this is maybe four feet wide by 20 feet long let's say and I took really hot uh, mulch directly from our municipality and filled up this filled up this uh, this border and then I took a bag of composted steer manure from Home Depot the generic cheap one that people kind of seem to hate and I spread that on top and then I planted it out to um, pole beans. And I'm going to show that right now. That's what the healthiest one of them looks like. Um, a lot of the other ones were, they eventually did that. So again, this is about two months old. Um, I also planted a, this is a, it's either a raspberry or a blackberry. This is a, uh, blackberry so a blackberry which is actually doing pretty good um, and then also a breadfruit tree which is also uh, doing pretty good it looks a little bit yellow right now which is understandable considering this is in straight mulch basically but um, it's actually sending out some new growth so I have a really good feeling about it but um, the the plants on top are sweet potatoes that I basically put in there about two weeks ago because the 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 uh, the beans had all died or were dying clearly. The next bed is this, and the core difference between this bed and the one we just looked at was this bed was about half um, compost that we had made over a period of about six months. Um, it was not super aged. It never got really hot because it, I think it's because it's so wet here. It never got super hot. So there's a lot of seeds in it, uh, a lot of weed seeds. Uh, but basically planted this out to purple sweet potato. And this bed, this was sweet potato cuttings taken um, and just dropped on the soil and buried. I've shown some other videos on how I do this. And this is, this is about two months old. Also in here are a banana and a papaya, which I kind of cleared out a few minutes ago to look at. And then this is a mammy sapote. So this bed is doing really well. Now, finally, we have this third bed. And the way this third bed was made was there was actually three compost bins here. And I removed the compost bins, surrounded the area with rocks, um, threw in some logs. So this is like a mix between compost and Hugo mound. So there are some like logs, some full logs in here and then topped it with mulch and planted it out to the same beans that I did on the first bed right there. So, but you could see how much healthier these beans are. Um, and then there's also, uh, there is an allspice tree right there. So doing much better in this bed. You can actually see this is kind of interesting. I added on to the ed end of this bed with pure mulch and planted this out to seam beans and all of them just died. They just crashed out. But these guys are looking really healthy. So I don't think this is necessarily the most profound video, uh, but it's just a kind of a simple experiment and um, really interesting, I think. Uh, and I think what'll happen with this bed, this first bed that was so unhealthy, um, at least the beans were unhealthy, 
is over the next couple of months, this mulch is going to break down. And once it does, this is going to be a really rich bed. So I think within six months time, this bed will have this kind of vitality. Uh, I think these sweet potatoes that I planted out that are looking pretty good. I think these are going to definitely help that along. So thanks for watching. Um, appreciate it. Please consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.